Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Rich session and luxury goods. <laughs> oh man, rich session. Now, for those who haven't heard about a rich session, that that's a, a term that was uh, brought about to really describe people who are actually making money, who are in a recession. They maybe they not maybe they getting laid off. Maybe they not making, you know, instead of the hundred and fifty thousand, they only making one hundred and forty thousand. They might be taking a pay cut. Now I know some of y'all probably like, ooh, boo hoo, cry me a river. Yeah, but it's affecting them too. It's affecting them too, and it's also affecting the the luxury goods industry. That's why I say rich session in luxury goods. And the thing is, you get, and you do actually, if you really pay attention, you get a lot of people being laid off. These ain't like just some ordinary people, a lot of tech people. You look at some of these companies laying off, they ain't laying off like somebody just cleaning up, you know, the bathroom or they ain't laying off a service worker. They laying off a tech worker. Tech people be making money. Even if they ain't making six figures, typically we making high five figures and everything. But, and see, that becomes, that's the issue of itself. You don't want anybody not working. But remember what I was saying last, uh, the last episode about the labor shortage and um, the many economic woes. And what was I saying? If people ain't working, they don't have money, they not buying, they not buying things. Now, when I say the rich session, okay, you got these people being laid off or maybe not making what they should or or something like that or you know maybe they're not getting that raise from the 130 a year to 170 like i said cry me a river but still it still has an effect on something and that's on the luxury goods industry now the luxury goods those are those goods those are name brand stuff let's just be real lame brands supposedly made better you know you're not buying them at like some of these uh mid-level stores those those ones, those those like those thousand dollar sweaters or you know, um, you know six hundred dollar t shirts or something like that. Those 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 ain't like just the ordinary car economy car you buying. Those are the luxury cars. Those I mean the stuff you gonna put in luxury neighborhoods, clothes, all of that. If the people don't have money to buy those things, then that affects that industry. That affects that industry. Now, I haven't seen too much about, I've seen like some stuff about it being affected and I don't think it's being affected the same way, but it's still it's still something major. Imagine you can't buy all those name brand high, high price clothes or every, everything. But think about it. Somebody works for those companies. Like if you look at one of the, uh, I forgot the exact uh, letters, but it's uh, chaired by uh, Richard R. Note, that luxury goods uh, conglomerate. I mean, they, they got everything. Uh, watches, clothes, everything. And they're still making money, but they can still take a dip too. You know, what happens when you get like uh, Louis Vuitton and people ain't buying it or the Gucci, people ain't buying it anymore. But that could affect that could affect the people who work at those places. Cause it's like, oh wait a minute, people ain't people ain't people ain't buying this two thousand dollar sweater. Uh oh, we might be in trouble. <laughs> and no, seriously, seriously. Now you're not getting a lot of news about it, and you're not. Cause let's be real, if you somebody who be good if they can get a, a twenty dollar sweater. Got to struggle to get a $20. They don't want to hear about somebody can't buy a $2,000 sweater. But it's still happening. And it still has an effect because think about all these luxury goods companies. They still got people working for them. And now follow, follow along. They still got sales people working for them, manufacturers, uh, accountants and stuff. If they're not making money all of a sudden or they get laid off, and like I say, you especially see it in the tech industry. Well, you know, they might not they might not look at that fancy car or any car for that matter. Or might not be able to move into that uh, big old apartment or uh, get a mortgage for that home. I mean, because it affects it because it, it carries a lot too. 
It carries a lot too. Now, I know, like I said, the official thing is all these jobs and the economy's booming and, you know, stock market and all of that. But, you know, I'm looking at it more from like the grassroots. The grassroots. Let's look at the luxury goods thing. What happens with, with a fancy store, wherever it is, people are not buying anymore. No telling how many sales staff they got laid off. That's affecting logistics because somebody had to deliver the clothes. And, you know, you got to do something with those clothes. So it's like, um, you know, you might can try to cut it down as much as possible or whatever. But you might have warehouses sitting with the luxury good stuff. That affects the economy because, well, people ain't spending money on it, you know. If you get the people, because the thing is with the people who make money, and this is why the whole rich, rich session thing is major, people want them to spend money. Now, I do remember a billionaire saying there's only so much we can spend, but let's be real. If somebody's making, a, you know, 100000 200000 a quarter million, yeah, they still got to sleep someplace. But if they, if somehow their money gets touched, maybe they're not checking out that big home. Or that fancy car, you know, or, you know, they ain't checking out those, uh, well, a whole, well, no, let's be real, because we, there's always that talk about the billionaires dressing like they're not really making money, but that's not all the billionaires, let's be real, somebody making six figures, they typically going to dress like it, they typically going to dress like it, so that's the thing. So, you know, they not buying stuff, and, you know, that affects, once again, that affects everything else because a rich session that's another form a higher form really of a labor shortage like you getting all like i'm paying attention to all these people getting laid off from tech companies and stuff like that you know and i was talking with somebody who's an expert in finance he said yeah they'll just get another job but during a period during that period are they really looking and trust me it affects everything it affects the grocery stores you got some stores that really cater to a higher crowd if you have somebody who can't afford that artisan bread, if they can't afford it, shoot, that affects some stuff. Every Everything's touched. Remember, one thing to think about the economy, one part always affects the other. Like, even for what I do, let me, let me make it personal a bit. Right now, I'm not touched at all. Right now, everything I do is not touched. Right now, when I pay attention, I say, okay, how can this affect me? I'd be paying attention to the commercials on my stuff. I was like, okay, are there people going to buy this stuff? You know? So you, you got to pay attention to it all. It's all affected. It's all affected. But look up that term, rich session. Rich session. Look up uh, the luxury goods industries and everything and really think about it, all right? So anyway, y'all know the deal. Regardless of where you stand, and hopefully y'all not in a rich session you know hopefully none of y'all in a rich session so anyway y'all know the deal let's go make that money